Hey everyone. We are going to continue now with round number four. Um, I had to switch tables. My daughter confiscated the desk, so <laughs> I had to come up with a new setup, and this is my new setup. I had to get a new table, in case anyone is wondering. But we are going to continue um, with this pinwheel crochet dishcloth. We are starting round four. Um, so we're gonna chain three. So that's one, two, and three. And then we're going to put two double crochets into the next front post double triple crochet. So that is directly down right here. You see the space? So we're going to put two double crochets into that one. So that is one and two. And then we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next two double crochets. So that sounds kind of confusing, but all you do is double crochet on top of the first one, and then double crochet on top of the next one. And then you should be at the next front post double triple, which is right here. So we're gonna put two double crochets into that one, into the same chain stitch. And then we're going to put one double crochet on top of the next chain and one double crochet next to that one. And then we're at the front post double triple. So we're gonna put two double crochets into the same stitch, into the same chain. One, two, then, one, and one, okay? Let me go one, two into the front post double triple crochet and then one double crochet and one double crochet. Okay, so keep continuing that. Two in the front post double triple crochet, two double crochets in one stitch in one chain, and then one double crochet and one double crochet, and I will meet you back around.
Okay, so we're coming up on the last front post double triple crochet. That's very hard for me to, to say, but um, it says in the pattern two double crochet and next double front post double triple and then one double crochet in the last crochet. So towards the end, you should have one front post double triple crochet and then one double crochet. So we're gonna put two, like the continued pattern, two in the front post triple, and then we have one here, so we're gonna put one double crochet. See? And then we find the top right here, and we just slip stitch into the top of the chain three. And we have completed round four. Now we're going to go on to round five. So we're going to chain three again. One, two, three. And then we're going to do a double crochet on straight down. So here's your first double crochet. So we're going to double crochet on top of that one. And then we're going to do a front post. <laughs> I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. <laughs> front post double triple crochet around this one right here. So we're going to go straight down, find that first front post double triple crochet, and we're going to uh do one around that one so again how do we do that we yarn over three times okay take your hook behind yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over Pull through two, yarn over, and yarn over. You want to yarn over and pull through four times. And as long as you have that, you're golden. Okay? So after we do that, we're going to double crochet in each of the f um, next four double crochets. Okay? So. One, two, and all we're doing is double crocheting on top of the double crochets that we did in the previous round. So we have one, two, three, and four. And then we come to another front post double triple crochet. You know why I have a hard time with this is because in the pattern, the proper way says double triple front post. But then when you go to read it, it says front post double triple. So hopefully everyone knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. So we're, regardless, we're doing it the correct way. We're going to yarn, we're gonna find the front post triple down below right here. So we've done our four double crochets, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to do the double triple crochet. So you yarn over three times, one, two, and three. Everybody see that? And then we go behind, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, that's one, yarn over, pull through, that's two, 
yarn over, pull through, that's three, and yarn over and pull through, that's four. Okay? And then we're going to double crochet onto the next four double crochets. So again, you want to make sure that you're getting the double, you're getting the finding the next chain. So we double crocheted in this one because it's very easy to skip one or even two. I've done it before um, because the double, triple crochets kind of hide them. So just make sure that you're going, you're going into a continuous chain behind the double triples, if that makes sense. So we're going to do four double crochets. So that's one, two, three, and four, which brings us to the next double triple, and I'm just going to start calling it that from now on. So we have one, two, three, four, and then what are we gonna do? We're gonna yarn over three times, one, two, and three. Find that one, double triple down below, go behind it, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, one, yarn over, two, yarn over, three, and yarn over four times. And then what are we gonna do? We're gonna double crochet four times. One, and I apologize, that's our Garbage truck, <laughs> it's garbage truck day. There's gonna be a lot of banging right now. So that's one, two, three, four. Usually they come a lot earlier, but today they're running late. So all this is is a repeat pattern, and once you get the gist of the whole thing, it's pretty simple to follow, okay? So we have uh, four double crochets, one, two, three, four, so then we're going to do the uh, triple front post, triple crochet, yarn over three times, one, two, three, find that, put your hook behind, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over one, yarn over two, yarn over three, and yarn over four times, okay? And again, if you need to slow it down, if you need to stop and go back, please do, but we are going to continue forward and I will meet you at the end. And remember, it's four double crochets and then one front post double triple crochet. I'll meet you at the end.
Okay, so we're coming up on the last, getting towards the end here. So all we do is we're going to do the four double crochets. So that's one, two, three, and four. And then we're gonna do the final front post double crochet. <gasps> I said it right, I can't believe it. <laughs> um, right down here. So yarn over three times. Go through the back, yarn over, pull through. So that's one, two, three, and four. And then we have two double crochets left, one and two, double crochet one, and double crochet two. And then we're going to slip stitch onto the top of the first chain three, and it's right there. And there we go. And that was the fifth round, and you can see these will um, flatten out and do their thing over time and look really pretty. But it says um, we should have 12 of the front post double triple. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have 13? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that's getting mixed up. Okay, so now we're going on to round six. And round six we're going to do in the next video. Um, I like to break my videos up into about 20 minute sections just so you guys can take a break if need be and um, I can also take a break. So I will see you in the next video. It will be part three. Thank you. We'll see you then.